We are a low secure unit for males with personality disorder. We have Ankara Ward, which is our downstairs ward, which has up to 12 service users. That's more of our admissions ward, where we would kind of stabilise the service users, look at things like medication and the initial treatment of the service users, what interventions would be needed when they were with us. Then they would progress up to Acorn Ward, which is more of the unescorted leave ward, the discharge ward. That's when they're going to be going out on their own in the community more. Um, they'll already be engaged in their therapies. And then hopefully that's when they'd be looking to discharge down into the community. We are located just on the outskirts of Nottingham city centre, so we have a local town of Clifton. There there's a tram stop, there's bus stops to get to the city centre of Nottingham. We have local shops available in Clifton as well. In Nottingham there's two universities, there's colleges, there's leisure facilities, there's more shopping centres, restaurants, access to parks and museums um, that our service users can all access. We've got two wards um, of 12 bedrooms, all of our bedrooms have ensuite facilities. Both of our wards have access to a communal lounge, a dining room and a quiet room and we have access to two skills kitchens where our service users can prepare meals, hot and cold drinks for themselves. We have a variety of off-ward rooms where we can access throughout the day. We have an art room and an IT suite upstairs and then downstairs we have got access to a recovery college, a gymnasium, a multi-faith room a visitor's room and a child-friendly visitor's room. Both of our wards have access to secured garden areas where our service users can engage in activities such as football, basketball and we also do some garden activities within those. Predominant diagnosis would be for men who suffer with personality disorders. Um, that can be of any type and they can also have um, comorbid diagnoses like any schizophrenia or mood disorders because these are not exclusion criteria for us and as well as service users with other difficulties like mild to moderate learning disabilities. So we offer a prison transfer programme at Clifton, so we would have referrals um, from prisons. They would come to us for assessment. It might be a period of three months or six months, or as long as we need to assess them. Then they would either stay with us for treatment or they would go back to prison for their sentence. Our multidisciplinary team consists of our medical team, which is our responsible clinician and our speciality doctor. We then have an OT team. We have an OT per ward, and then we have an OTA, which is an occupational assistant per ward. We have a social work department and we also have a psychology department. We currently have two psychologists and one assistant psychologist. We have two ward managers, one based on both wards and they support and lead our nursing and support worker team. And treatment plans are generally tailored to their individual strengths and their weaknesses. So that would tend to define the particular types of therapies that would be beneficial for them. We offer a variety of different evidence-based psychological interventions here that are proven to be effective with personality disordered individuals. Um, we draw upon a range of things like DBT, CBT, uh, schema therapy, compassion focused therapy and we also try and do interventions on offences that the service users have come, come here with. We recognise that obviously personality disorder is really complex so there's not really a one size fits all approach for working with these individuals so what we try and do is work in a compassionate and collaborative way with the service users to understand their kind of history, their story, um, what it is that's kind of brought them to hospital in the first place and we try and develop a formulation and a treatment package around those particular areas of need and the risk areas. In terms of groups we offer various different interventions that are based on um, individuals risks and the treatment needs that they have so these can include things like problem solving groups, um, emotion regulation groups, um, things that look at things like distress tolerance and interpersonal skills and relationships obviously a lot of the people here that we have have difficult interpersonal relationships with others so they're quite key areas for, for group work. Uh, we also look at things like mindfulness and also address kind of psychoeducation around uh, diagnoses, so personality disorders and other mental health issues um, alongside substance misuse work as well. Every service user on admission has an initial interview with the occupational therapist where we go through what their goals are, what their aspirations are and any issues that they're having at the moment or problem areas in their life. Um, then following that we do basic assessments like community assessments and kitchen assessments when risk allows. Every service user is provided with an individualised therapeutic timetable that's meaningful to them and helps to promote their achievement of their goals. 
Purpose users have gardening groups on site, they've got therapeutic jobs that they complete on site as well, which they are paid for. They also have coffee morning, current affairs group, they have gym groups, IT sessions, they have art sessions and craft sessions and we try to tailor their timetables to their interests. So every three months we change the timetable and we look for suggestions and input from the service users as to what they'd like to see on the next therapy timetable. The focus that the service has is on promoting the individuality of our patients and ultimately giving them the confidence and the boost of self-esteem that they would benefit in order to live the life that they want in the community. So I suppose one of the things that I really love about my role here is seeing service users progress to I think those kind of light bulb moments that you have in psychology sessions where they really get and understand what you've been kind of chatting about in previous weeks um, and then they use that on the ward and they talk about using it in the community as well. It has been an honour and a privilege for me to be able to develop an insight into the lives of our service users. They have allowed myself and our team to help understand their stories. And these stories are what makes them them and it is through their stories that we help them 